Okay, storm surge from Hurricane Ian is already flooding Key West. Off in the Gulf right now, you can see those waves just slamming up against that seawall right there. It's 230 miles south of Sarasota. Top winds of 120. Florida's highways are jammed with traffic as thousands scramble to get out of the path of Hurricane Ian. This is new video just in now showing the power of Ian's vicious winds in Port Charlotte. That's where the peak wind gusts there. 123 miles per hour. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time since I've seen you guys. Some of you guys are probably wondering where I've been. And for those of you that don't know, I do live in Southern Florida in Port Charlotte. Back on September 28th, we ended up getting hit with a category four hurricane. Now in this video, I do have a lot of footage from the hurricane. So I am gonna play that for you guys. Basically, long story short, I did end up going five days without any power. It's been over two weeks without any any internet they did just fix it a couple days ago and by fix it I mean it's still intermittent there are so many down power lines still so many down internet lines so my internet has been cutting in and out quite a bit with that being said that's why I haven't really been able to upload no internet power issues cutting on and off it's been a crazy crazy past few weeks if you guys remember the last vlog I was in New Jersey I ended up getting a bunch of footage that I was gonna upload in a video as soon as I got back to Florida but as soon as I got back I had to start preparing for the hurricane, going through, putting up hurricane shutters on the house, boarding up the doors, and just getting everything hunkered down to deal with the hurricane. In the beginning, the hurricane was supposed to be heading up and hitting the Tampa area. I decided that I was going to go stay with my buddy Andrew during the hurricane. Shout out to Andrew. Thank you for letting me stay with you. At the last minute, the hurricane just took a 90 degree turn and came directly for where I live in the Northport, Port Charlotte area, and it was devastating. Before we get into the hurricane footage, I do want to play some of the footage that I had from Jersey. We ended up going to Hershey Park, also went out on the jet skis. So roll that footage real quick. Of course, the one day that we planned to do some outdoor activities. Looks like I brought some of the Florida weather with me. We decided to come out to Hershey Park. The last time we were here, we just rode the rides. Didn't really get to do anything with like the chocolate world. Plus Lance and Julia were on their diet. So today we're basically just doing the Hershey's chocolate world and all the rides are closed right now because it's raining. So here we are back at Hershey World. And of course I have the absolute worst stomach ache right now we're going to be surrounded by candy and a bunch of stuff that i can't really eat well i mean i could my stomach's just hurting super bad right now so we're here where are we going to create your own candy bar can I make one shaped like a penis? We're gonna buy our tickets right now. $30 a person. I don't even know if that covers the actual cost of the candy bar itself or if that's just for the ticket. So we're gonna do the build your own Reese's, which I guess this right here is the outer shell. These are like 20 bucks. But these are what they're gonna look like. You got peanut butter and then they got a bunch of different toppings that you can choose and put in there. Yeah, this is really gonna f up my stomach. <laughs> these are all the different toppings. Sprinkles, Hersheyettes. What the f is that, an M&M? Mini marshmallows, cookies, sweet chips, white chips, brownies, pretzels. They even have potato chips, which is kind of crazy. I have had chocolate covered potato chips before, which are really good. Got like little caramel balls over there. Wait, is that bacon? No way. You can get bacon. Ew. So bacon in a row. I saw that too, bro. Bacon bits. It's very nasty. Ugh. <laughs> this making me want to puke just thinking I was about like, it. Oh, they got little Reese's too, but that's so pointless to mix that in there. I could not imagine putting bacon inside of a Reese's though. I got brownies, marshmallows, peanuts, and. I'm, I'm blinding Oreos, Oreos. <laughs> I'm not a fan of marshmallows, so I'm definitely not getting them. Wait, are those Reese's Puffs? Ooh, peanut butter chocolate that flavor. Mmm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. So you get to go through and pick out four things to put inside your Reese's cup. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's do... Yeah, I'll do peanuts. I'm going to do Reese's Puffs. I'm going to do Reese's. And then I'm going to do Reese's Pieces. So this is just like a lot of chocolate and peanut butter. Basically like Cold Stone, but for Reese's. That's what I said. Which is pretty cool. Well, Very like Cold Stone? Yeah. yeah. Like I li literally just did like straight chocolate and peanut butter for the whole thing. Yeah, but I what did. about your topping? You can do caramel sauce, chocolate sauce. I'm probably gonna do chocolate sauce and do they have peanut butter sauce? Yeah. Yeah, they that's did. what I'm gonna do. Overkill with peanut butter. Chocolate <laughs> and peanut butter, that's it. I love my peanut butter though, but they just go through and mix it all up. Bro, I feel like this one Reese's is gonna last me like two weeks. Dude. I'm probably not gonna finish it before I go back to Florida. I see, I didn't think you guys were all gonna get one. I was like, oh, we'll probably just all just split, split it. <laughs> okay, no, we all got our own. Two cool. weeks in the fridge, cool. It looks so good. Imagine making like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich out of that. Jesus. Mm, it looks so good. Oh. This looks like diabetes in a cup. Oh, dude, that looks so good. Wow. That's 
chocolate with. Oh. The bone lid are all chocolate, so you guys can eat the whole thing. Perfect. You. They have pumpkin pie Kit Kats. I do like pumpkin pies, but anything like pumpkin spice, I'm not a fan of. Franken chip, mint chocolate with green colored cream. I'm not gonna lie, I saw these Lily's boxes over here, and I thought they were boxes of condoms for a second because they kind of look like they look like little Trojan packs. And then over here, they got the world's largest Reese's cup, two half pound cups. But the one Reese's cup, the build your own Reese's, is actually over a pound. Technically, this would be the largest. Bro, these Kit Kats are huge oh my god that's two pieces of kit kat in that whole bag right there they have a little thing over here of the potato chips reese's so i'm gonna pick these up just so i can try these you can create your own milkshakes too do you think that's real whipped cream and real chocolate syrup in there i don't think so it looks like it though doesn't it yeah I think it's fake though. Oh, they look so good. Too bad I'm lactose and toddler's pants. So we all decided to make a little pit stop, grab some pizza. Lance got pepperoni, Julia and I both got some cheese pizza. And thank God they had some ranch because I cannot eat my pizza without ranch. So we finished our pizza. Now we're gonna be heading over to the truffle building. It's still super shitty outside. None of the rides are going right now. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to ride any rides today, which sucks. Oh, so it actually looks like the entire park is closed today. It's not just the rides are shut down, the entire park Park itself is shut down. Damn, that sucks. And online it says there's no refund, so Lance is gonna go to guest services and see if he can get a refund, I guess. The park is actually only open on the weekends now. Probably should have looked at that before we yeah. before we ordered the tickets. Bro, I'm over here about to puke from all the pizza we just ate. These guys are still looking at food. All this candy, desserts. This is more like dessert than it is candy. Bunch of cupcakes. We got cake pops. Cake pops. <laughs> bro, man should not have had a milkshake. Bro, it's bad. Just shit his pants in it. Yo, turn on biohazard oh my mode. God, bro, I got, so I got all the windows open. It's just getting worse. <laughs> yeah, it's because we're not moving, so it's just like lingering in here. Like, turn the fucking AC on or I got something. Biohazard on, bro. Bro, we got a two-hour drive home that we're gonna have to deal with this. Shit. No mm. pun intended. <laughs> oh, he almost fell off. God, this is <laughs> Third time's a charm. Damn, Cody. I thought that was his butt cheeks. Dude, just go truck first. <laughs> Put his hat in there. <laughs> Keep flying off. can tell we're currently out on the jet skis right now lance is somewhere around here getting a bunch of footage as well so i'm sure we'll end up mixing in the jet ski footage this is my first time on a jet ski in probably like seven years i would say came out here i was wearing my hat my hat already flew off luckily i was able to get it and i threw it in the jet ski but just having the time of my life man i haven't been on a jet ski in so long and i'm really enjoying this and i really need to get a haircut at least the sides anyways because i'm gonna try growing the mullet back lance has spent more time filming than he has actually riding the fucking jet ski beautiful day out here in jersey man the sun is shining the water's actually relatively calm hopefully you guys can hear me all right it is a little bit windy but let's get back to it oh my god <laughs> i'm fucking soaked 
Oh my god. We decided to make a little pit stop, grabbing some food real quick. Bro, I hit this one wave and got like 10 feet in the air. I don't know if Lance got it on video. I tried, bro. The waves kept pulling me. It was two feet, feels like 10. No, hell, yeah, ask like, Bruce yeah. how far. <laughs> Dude, I was, I was. Yeah. High. I was in the air. I was in the air for like a solid like two or three seconds. When you're up there, it feels like ten seconds. Yeah. It feels. But I knew I knew I was high because I looked down and I was like, oh, sh this is gonna hurt. But bro, I landed perfect, like perfect. He messed his neck up. He landed. Yeah. I'm going on the side. Yeah. I will say I don't know what's in this salt water down here in Jersey, but my grays are going crazy today i'm gonna have to start dyeing my hair ended up getting some korean beef tacos with some old bay steak fries lance got some pasta bruce got a burger rich got some tacos as well what a day man had an absolute blast out on the jet skis we already got bruce's jet skis loaded up now we're just loading up riches lance is coming over pulled the jet ski on the trailer and got it right my first time one and done i'll see how lance does here this will be interesting has he done this before stop bragging it was good i did my first time one and done I feel like Lance has done this before though. Uh-oh. There you go. Now we are going to get into the hurricane portion and footage part of the video. Keep in mind, I tried recording as much as I could throughout this hurricane, but without having any power, I did want to conserve the amount of battery that I had on my phone as much as possible. Even though I didn't have service, God forbid, if I did need to make an emergency call, I could have made an emergency call. So I was trying to save just as much battery as possible. Now let's get into the footage from the hurricane. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys may know, we are getting hit with a hurricane. It's about 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday. I just woke up. I currently live in zone B in Port Charlotte. We had to mandatory evacuate. So I'm staying with my buddy, Andrew. And this is what it's looking like. It's starting to get really windy, it's raining a little bit, nothing too crazy right now. The wind is starting to pick up. The hurricane has reached a category four and there's a strong possibility it could reach a category five as well. Uh, you guys can see the clouds are actually moving pretty fast. So this will be interesting to see how this, how this all plays out. It's a little past 10 in the morning right now. I wanted to give you guys uh, another little update. It's starting to get pretty, pretty crazy. They say the worst of it's probably gonna be around noon. So we still got a few more hours. Right now we have the door barricaded so that way it doesn't end up busting open. So I'm not gonna step outside for you guys. I mean, it's like hundred mile an hour winds out there anyways. Something just ended up smacking the back of the house, but you guys can see it is pretty windy right now. It's not raining the worst, but it's the wind that's doing like the most damage. So I do apologize. The window is a little wet, gets a little bit blurry. We haven't had power for a few hours now, no cell phone service. Um, somehow miraculously, I was able to get a call out to my mom it was cutting in and out right now we are in one of the walls of the eye of the hurricane uh looks like we're gonna be in this for a couple more hours to like six it's about 4 15 right now 4 20 it's a hurricane it's it's pretty bad anything that you can imagine a bad hurricane being is exactly what it is so i ended up falling asleep for about an hour thinking that you know maybe the hurricane would calm down a little bit nope it's about six o'clock right now and it has just progressively gotten even worse the streets are now flooding it's about a quarter of the way up andrew's driveway you can see it's almost touching the tires of the the crv that's in the driveway if we peek over here it's kind of hard to focus because of all of the water on the door but there is a tree that fell and is covering the road also took down the power lines so we're probably going to be without power for for quite some time yeah and things are just still still getting worse if you guys could just say a prayer for us i mean by the time i probably upload this video i mean hopefully this will be well over with um you know gotta wait for power internet all that stuff and these uh emergency alerts have just been constant it's just crazy man i zoomed in oh it's coming towards us oh <laughs> I'm trying to chase it. I just can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Chef Cody. Chef Boyar Cody to you. <laughs> yeah, here making some pizzas on the grill. So 
we ain't got no power. I look like shit, but I also haven't showered in 48 hours. And uh, it's pretty hot in the house with no power, so we're getting toasty. We got a nice little stuffed crust, pepperoni. Let's sort these pepperonis over here. We're having some pizza at 4.30 in the morning for breakfast. So, gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta eat, gotta eat. The uh, storm actually ended up stopping around 2 a.m. last night. I was able to come out, bring the dogs outside. The road was flooded. All the water seems to have gone down quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't seem flooded anymore, but you guys can see. We got a tree down here. They got a tree down over in their front yard. Shed over there ended up getting destroyed. Bunch of trees down if we come over here. I also wanted to video a lot more of the storm, but at the same time, we had no power. We still don't, so I'm trying to save as much battery as possible. Um, you come over here, this field was like full of trees and bushes. Those are all knocked down. Neighbor's fence in the back got destroyed. This whole street was flooded about halfway up the driveway, but it is looking better. And uh, I actually just woke up again. You guys can see I haven't showered in almost two days now. My hair is looking a little crazy. I'm looking a, looking a little messy, a little disheveled. You know, I lost my hurricane virginity to a category four hurricane. We were right in the wall of the eye the entire time. And it was, it was pretty brutal. And what's even crazier is, I mean, you look up at the sky, you'd have no idea that we got hit by a category four hurricane yesterday. I was trying to see if potentially could make it to the house, but this entire road is flooded. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for them to get everything cleaned up. I mean, this place is completely destroyed. Every way I try to go, locked off in one way or another, whether it's water, trees, so not too much I can do. Probably gonna end up heading back to Andrews. Just nervous, because I haven't heard from my neighbors or anything. Um, in our area, I know we got hit really, really bad. Prime example, right here, how high the water is. Realistically, should not be out driving in this, but no, I put best interest of myself sometimes aside to try helping out other people. Yeah, the flooding is so bad. And this is in Northport. A lot higher sea level over here than it was at my house. Uh, not looking too good. Not even too sure when I'm gonna be able to make it there. I mean, the water's literally almost up to the mailboxes over there. I mean, you can see the cars coming through. Oh, hold on, roll up the window so I don't get splashed. Oh, just in time. Trees down everywhere. It's, it's insane, man. So I made it back to the house. I am gonna have my hand up to keep my, my house number up. It's gonna be a little blurry for a second. It's still, still pretty windy but i ended up losing a few shingles some of the bushes which isn't too bad as you can see we're making our way towards the back lost this old satellite that was on the house and uh lost half of the lanai it ended up getting ripped off doors here the lights came down the gutters we also our main water pipe burst which this was just spewing water all over the place so we had to get in turn the valve off over there in that big puddle of water that you guys can see that was a pain in the ass by the way because it was filled with dirt so that took a little bit the soffits on the roof need to be removed Placed. But yeah, you can see the damage to the lanai. Uh, the doors held up. What's up, little guy? Oh, you're shedding. Staying out of the hurricane, huh? He's peeling right now, cute little guy. Lanai's probably gonna have to be replaced. We lost every every palm tree. Uh, that one, that one, that one. The neighbor's fence is down. Our neighbor, Jen, she lost her lanai as well. And this palm tree snapped completely in half, so uh, got a little bit of cleaning up to do. I'm gonna head back and pick up the dogs. All the neighbors were kind of just banding together to, you know, get everything taken care of. Uh, I'm not gonna have water for a few until I can get someone to come out and fix that. My other neighbor ended up losing his lanai as well. I mean, there's trees down everywhere. The flooding here is not, nearly as bad as it was over at Andrew's house. We definitely have some cleaning up to do. All right, you guys, with that being said, I think that is going to wrap it up for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, my thoughts and prayers are with everyone that was affected by Hurricane Ian. I know there are far, far many people out there that had it much worse than I did, lost their entire homes, lost their vehicles, lost family members, friends. So my thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected from Hurricane Ian. Make sure you guys like, drop a comment subscribe with notifications on we are going to have another video coming soon i did end up getting the hellcat wrap so the next vlog will be the hellcat wrap reveal so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that i love you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in we'll see you guys next time peace